Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a setup video for the Samsung Fit E. So we're going to uh, show the complete setup process for the Samsung Fit E from the time you actually take it out of the box and uh, you're able to use it. You are able to get all the data. So we are going to do the entire setup. So now in order to start this, there's no button. So when you get it, it might be like this. It will it will not come on. So you'll have to put it into charging first. So put it into the charging cradle and this will come on. Now, as soon as it comes on, it'll see if it's connected to a device. If it's not connected to a device, then it'll give a message over here itself and it'll say, okay, let me just show you that. Okay. And it'll say open galaxy wearable on phone. So now I have to install galaxy wearable. Now I just need to get this. Okay. So G A L A galaxy wearable. Okay. Now we have to install that. Okay, so it's installed. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now when you open it up, it'll ask you what device uh, you want to connect. Now over here itself, we see Galaxy Fit and Galaxy Fit E. We choose that. Now it'll ask you to give you permission. So okay, we'll give it permission. Now it'll ask you to pair it. Now you see it already found it. Now I'll allow it and pair. Done. Now it'll say you have to install a plugin. Okay, let's go ahead and install the plugin. So this is the plugin Galaxy Fit plugin. So there are actually two softwares. So let's install that. That's also 12.90 MB, almost 13 MB. Okay, so now once that is done, it'll ask you to install one more software. That's the accessory service. So this is the one Samsung accessory service. You have to install that also. Now, if you have a Samsung phone already, you may not have to install all these uh, softwares. They might already be there. Like in my S7, I did not have to install uh, the Samsung uh, Galaxy Fit app. That also we'll have to install now. I'll show you that. So three apps already done. Okay, it's finishing pairing. Now it'll take some time. So we'll just keep it there. Okay, agree, allow for calendar, allow for phone logs. Now it'll ask me to sign in. So I'll sign in. Okay, so you'll have to log in into your Samsung account. Now, if you do not have a Samsung account, you can create a new one. There's a create option here. So you can create one. So I'll just log into my account first. Okay, so I signed in. Now it'll ask me to check for backups. I'll check for backups because I already own a few Samsung devices. So I might have some data there. Okay, so I have all these things from my previous Fitty. So this is my second one. The first one actually failed uh, swimming pool uh, test. So water went into it. So this is my second one. So uh, the previous data is already available. I'll just restore that. Okay, so it's done. Now it says stay connected. Okay, stay connected. Always allow it to run in the background. So if you allow that, only then will you get any notification calls and stuff uh, on your band. If not, it will not come up. Now I'll have to go here and give permission to... Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Galaxy Fit Plugin. Allow. That's it. I can go back. Okay, so that's done. So now this is what your interface will look like. You can change your watch face from here, uh, actually not here, from here. You can change your watch face, whatever you want. Uh, generally, people keep the bigger one so that you can see everything. But I'm fine with this one because it gives me more data. Uh, I'll go for, actually I'll go for one with the battery percentage. Yeah, that's better. So that's good for me. Mm. Okay, it doesn't give me heart rate though. Okay, so I'll choose the heart rate one. Okay, so that's the one that I want to keep. Now, uh, I've already showed you the setup process. I've showed you that in the Fit E uh, video. So you can check that. I'll link that on top. So how to set it up. The entire uh, setup is there. Now, where to see the data? You'll have to go to Samsung Health. Now, I've already installed the app before. So that's why that's there. If not, you have actually have to install four apps. The Samsung uh, Wear, the two plugins and the Samsung Health app. So four apps have to be installed. Once that's done, it's done. It's ready to use. So now you can tap away and see all the data and use it as you want. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.